Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough for an exercise in Learn Python the Hard Way, a book by Zed Shaw. To get to the exercise, go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org, and then click on Read the Free HTML Online. Click on that, it takes you to the table of contents, and right now we're going to be doing exercise five, which is more variables and printing. Here we go. And if you click on that, it takes you here. And this is where we're gonna work with a string and some variables embedded within strings. Now, a string is a uh, is text. It's, it's, uh, it's letters, it's words. Um, and it's usually there to be read by a person. It's easier to understand. But what's interesting about it is even though you have to put a string in quotes to make it a string, you can still embed a variable within it. And we're gonna show you some examples using Zed's code right here. This is his code, he's got about 18 lines. And I'm gonna open up a text wrangler. And um, let me go through it uh, one line at a time. Okay, the first line, he's creating a variable called my name with an underscore, so make it all one word. And the equals is the assignment operator. And then in single quotes, he's putting Zed A Shaw. Now, you can use single quotes or you can use double quotes as long as you use the same thing on each side and you do not have that character appearing in the middle of the uh, sentence. There are exceptions to that. You can escape the character or something like that. But you see that he's got single quotes on this one. So my name is the name of the variable. Equals is the assignment operator. It can also be read as my name gets. And then the string in the single quotes here is Z A Shaw. Okay, now we have my age. It's another variable. And because it's getting a number, it doesn't need to be in quotes or anything. And he's got a little comment there afterwards, not a lie, that apparently he was in fact 35 when he wrote this. We have another one, my height, it's 74. And the quote is used to specify that it's in inches. That's helpful. My weight, 180 pounds, fine. My eyes, blue. Again, this is a string because it's several characters in a row and it's in single quotes. Again, you can use single or double. He's using single here. My teeth, white. My hair, brown. And now we're going to go into what it looks like in an actual string. Now, the print command means that it's going to show up in the terminal when we run this script. This is the text. Now, you'll notice this is in double quotes. The stuff up here was in single quotes. You can use either one, but the double quotes make sense at the bottom because he's using a contraction that has an apostrophe in it. And if he used single quotes, that would it would think that it stopped right there and you'd get an error message for the rest of it. So if you're gonna have an apostrophe uh, in the uh, string somewhere, best to use double quotes around it. He says, let's talk about, and then this thing right here, the percent sign and S. The percent sign means that we're putting a variable inside the string. Now, I realized earlier when we did math, the percent sign meant modulo, but we're not doing math right here. This is an indicator that a variable is coming for the string. And the S afterwards indicates the kind of variable. S here means string. There, there's about 12 or 15 different kinds of variables you can use, and they all have different letters. They, they got O and E and I and, and stuff like that. We're gonna see another one in a minute, D, for decimal. But right now, the uh, percent sign in S means insert the string variable here. And then once you close the string with the uh, with the quotes, you get a, a couple of spaces. You put a percent sign, which means I'm now going to define the variable or tell you what variable goes in there. You have that sign. You put a space in. You needed space. And then you put the name of the variable. So this says take whatever is in the variable my name and stick it into the string. The variable my name is up here. It's uh, we're using Z Shaw. Okay, so that's how that one's going to work. And then we're going to do a few others. It's going to say uh, we're going to put some information about his height. He's um, percent sign s, and that's we're going to put in my height. So that's going to be his uh, height in inches. He's so many pounds heavy, and that's where he puts in my weight. And then we just have a little editorial comment. He says, actually, that's not too heavy. We don't have any variable at all on that one. And then in this line, we have two variables. And you'll notice you don't label them as like variable one and variable two. Instead, they both use the same 
placeholder, the percent sign s, which means put a string variable here. And then at the end, you put the percent sign, and instead of listing the uh, single variable, you use parentheses, and you put both variables in there with a comma in between them. And you just have to make sure that you get those variables listed in the same order that they appear in the string. So I got a little comment here, it says put them in parentheses. And then we have another one about his teeth. All right, and then here's another one that's kind of funny because it has several variables in it. It takes several numbers. This one, the percent sign D, D is for decimal. It's actually uh, for signed decimal integer, I think. And um, that's gonna be for his height. And then we have another one and a third one and a fourth one. So we have four decimal variables showing up in this um, string. And then he has the percent sign, and then he has the opening parenthesis. Now you notice he's broken it into two lines. And the reason for that is, is simply that there's a convention in Python that Zed observes of not having more than 80 characters in a line. Uh, sometimes that makes things get a little screwy. So he's breaking it across two lines. It's perfectly legitimate to do this way. And because it's indented, Python knows to read it as a single command. So the first variable is my age, the second one is my height, and again, they're numeric variables, they're decimals. The third one is my weight. Now the fourth one here is interesting because what he's doing is a little bit of algebra. He's actually adding up the values for those uh, three previous variables to get a, a new variable. And he doesn't have to define it as a variable because he's just doing the math right here. And so you can do the math within the variable list. And I just wanted to add that the percent sign s is for string, the percent d is for decimal. And if you want to, you know, you can go to a, I just searched the web and I found a list of all of the data types. You know, here's a shortcut um, URL, but you can just search and find them, it's not hard. So let me take this and run it now. So I'm over in my terminal now, remember this, Text Wrangler is for writing the script, it's for creating the instructions, but if you want to implement or run the instructions, you gotta go back to Terminal or PowerShell. Um, and by the way, you use Text Wrangler on a Mac and Zed wants you to use Notepad++ on Windows, but they, they work the same. Okay, now I'm, I've already specified that I wanna have the folder where my scripts are. You see if I do PWD for print working directory, it tells you where they are. And all I need to do is specify that I want to run exercise five. Now, all I, get, I type the word Python, because I'm telling you it's a Python script and run it as Python, and then I type the name of the file, exp05py. You see, there it is right there also. If I come up here and I hit return, there we go. Um, you'll notice it does not print the variables uh, up here where I define things. It only prints stuff that I specifically tell it to print. So it ignores those, it uses them in filling this other information in. It ignores all of the comments that go in and it does this little bit of math here at the end to get 289. And that is one way to use variables within strings as a way of filling in text uh, in a form. Anyhow, hope that worked for you and I'll see you in the next video.